What was the pot like? I mean, you know, the famous pot against Furyk. Was it... Did it feel like it was going to be a defining moment in your career almost before you hit it? Or you know, what was going through your head before you... I, I walked by Furyk's ball in the bunker and saw that the ball had pitched and rolled out of it and it was sitting perfect on a slight right. upslope. And I knew it was a bread and butter bunker shot that yeah. he was going to stiff it. So I knew I had to get up and down. And Sam had told me as I crossed the bridge. So all I wanted to do was give myself a putt. So yeah. the chip shot was very difficult. It was in what we call a bird's nest. You know, the ball was sitting in the middle of grass, but all around it was difficult. All I wanted to do was just get it on the green and give myself a putt, mm -hmm. which I did. And I got it to the 12 feet, 15 feet, whatever it was. Furyk Julie hit, hit a great bunker shot, which nearly went in. I didn't I realize know. that yeah. until that night. On the video, you could see yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't realize that till we watched it that night. With a, with oh, yeah, it should have gone in almost, yeah. It should have gone in. It yeah. actually hit the hole. I think there was probably too many tricolours around the green for it to go <laughs> in. <right? laughs> yeah, too many people, Irish people, blown away, blown yeah. away, Europeans. So the other thing about Furyk's bunker shot was, again, if you look in the video, it went about 15 inches past, and he had a downhill 15-incher. And I looked at it, and I thought, he could miss that. And then I had a thought come into my head, where I came from, I don't know, maybe go back to the amateur days again of, no, give him the putt, clear the decks, you're either going to hold it or you're not. You don't want to be standing over your putt thinking, well, if I miss, he might miss. Mm. So I gave it to him, and I remember him looking at me twice as he's bending down, <laughs> kind of, are you sure? I said, take it away, Jim, take it away. Um, he took it away, and then as, I, as, I, as we walked around with JP looking at it, as I walked around once, I saw the putt, I saw it. I saw what I had to do, I saw the line, I saw the speed, I felt it. Um, and uh, as JP is starting to blabber away to me, I'm, I'm saying, I have it. Yeah. And he starts talking, I said, JP, I have it. In other words, get out of the way. Yeah. Um, which he duly did, and, and yeah. he got out of the way. And as I stood over it, um, it was just routine, over, bum. And again, going back to what I said earlier about the feel, it was a left to right putt. Um, and it was probably about a cup and a half outside left, so it was a big swinger. And the feel I had in my stroke, I actually hooked that putt into the slope. I drew it into the slope. Mm. That's how much feel I had about what I was doing. Now, I, you know, the question people ask me, did I know I was going to hold it? No, I didn't know I was going to hold it. But I knew one thing I was going to do. I was going to hit a great putt. Yeah. And I knew I was going to hit a great That's putt. That's all you can do, really, isn't it? And yeah, that made, me, that made me feel good no matter what. So the consequence, if I hadn't have gone in, actually weren't that bad for me because I knew I was going to make a great effort. Yeah. Um, and I hit this putt and it just... You know, as putts go, it can't be any pure. It came out of the middle, yeah. of the middle of the putter. It rolled at a perfect speed. And as I looked up, it was about two foot from the hole tracking that way. And there was just no way in the world it could miss. And if you could dissect the hole on the, on the line it was coming, you couldn't have dissected it any better. Yeah. Um, uh, so as it goes in the hole, I put my arms in the air. Um, and I'm thinking, why isn't, why, haven't, why isn't anybody jumping on top of me at this stage? Because at this stage, I could hear the sound and the noise. And I actually had the thought, Maybe it slipped out. Maybe right. it didn't go in. Because <laughs> I'm wondering why, why my, the rest yeah. of my team are not on top of me at this stage. Um, and then as I looked around, I saw Sergio jumping up and down. And then I started to jump up and down. And then Darren and, and, and Heather um, came on. And, and that, that was it. But then if you look at it in real time, it's like one second from the minute, oh, yeah. minute I, I hold it to when they're actually on top yeah. of me. But for me, time actually stood still. Really? And I actually had that thought. When I'm looking here, I'm an idiot. Maybe it's because the hole's over there. Maybe it hasn't gone in. <laughs> Why are they not on top of me? I like it, um, and as I looked across, I saw Sergio jumping up and down. And that's, that's what set me off on that stupid yeah. jump that I was doing.